Vinny and Alex. Hi, Abby. Abby Russell. How are you enjoying this? Is it jazz? What is this? Yeah, sure, I'll call yeah, this jazz. This is like, you know, lounge jazz. Yeah. yeah. It's smooth. It's relaxing. Mm. This game is called Super Liminal. I believe it is $17 on the Epic Game Store. Okay. Um, I have played through the entirety of this game. I'd say it takes maybe three or so hours to beat. Okay. Um, and I enjoyed parts of it. But I didn't do. I I wouldn't recommend it. I think. Okay. How, how much is it? This is about seventeen dollars. Seventeen. Okay. So I think it does some interesting things. We shall see. I'll get into it. It didn't bring my saves over. I'm not really sure how the Epic Game Are Store works. But we can just start from the doubt Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? It's very Stanley Parable, which we will see people keep constantly comparing it to that, which I think does this game a little bit of a disservice because that game is so good. Yeah, I really like the Stanley Parable. Uh, and this game is like fine. Okay. But it's it's operating in a similar space. Yes. Rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic, located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnuscult will make your dreams come true. <sighs> yes. A Classic. boom box. Oh, yeah. That'll come into play later on. Okay. Um, so I think the beginning we may have seen from some of the footage that people may have seen from, like, some of the PAXs. This is what I played at, I think, PAX East. Um, does some clever stuff already of, like, whoa, there was a wall there. Now there's a door. Uh, a lot of perception stuff. And I do think it does some interesting stuff with the puzzles. Um, I also think that by the end it outstays its welcome, and there is what feels like very little puzzle left. Okay. Oh. So this is sort of the fun stuff of this. Uh, it was big, now it's small. See? Woo! Mm -hmm. I can make it big again. Okay, so they're doing it for some, like, dream dream logic, dream perception exactly. stuff here. Exactly. This is very much about dreams. Okay. You have some cool dreams. No, uh, actually, my dreams are extremely terms boring. Terms of service <laughs> accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. Did this they just straight up get the portal lady to do this? Because that does sound a lot like her. Lucid like induction us. dream yeah. state in which you retain full consciousness and control. Uh, there's also these things. These doors can't bring objects in, which oh. makes it tricky. Mm. So I need an object for here. What do I do? What do I do? What do you do? Stand well, on it. Well, let's stand on it. <gasps> now get that. Yes. Ooh. Got yeah. it. It's so Boom. small. Mm -hmm. I can make it big if I want to, though. Let's see if... Ah, did you get it? That doesn't Yeah, I brought it right. through. <laughs> yeah, that's sort really of the fun. Like, this is the good parts of the game. Um, and I would say in the beginning, this is sort of my complaint I had at PAX, was it felt like it was the same kind of thing. Um, and I will say it does diversify a little later on with the types of puzzles you're doing. It's not just these sort of like, make thing big, make thing small. Uh, make it does thing have cool long. stuff Confirm. like this, but it is a lot freely, of interact make with big. It's like I'm at the uh, Exploratorium. Mm -hmm. from your the Exploratorium team. is rad. I'm, I am not besmirching the good name of the Exploratorium. Thank you. Where is the Exploratorium? That's in San Francisco. I think I did that a long time ago. Also, I've done all these puzzles, so sorry if it seems like I'm speeding through it. Um... No, I mean, if, it, if there's ever a genre that actually helps to speed through, it's probably the puzzle genre. Well, because don't go too quickly if you're uh, if this game you said is only three hours, right? Right. I won't show more than this like first chapter. Okay. Uh, but I think you're sort of already getting the idea of it. I am. Well, so you see, I have like a big door up there. Oh, How do so I get tall. up there? What do I do? How do I get up there? What can you grab? Cheese. That, that cheese looks like a ramp. Let's make go. a make, make a it bigger. Ramp. It's a lot of like. Go there, move forward, move back. Uh, I will say some of the later levels, it got a little frustrating where it was like, I know what I'm supposed to be doing. The <laughs> physics are just being kind of goofy. Like, just let me do my thing. Did you ever get into a spot where you had to restart a level yes. because you had made something too small or too big? Yeah, because there's stuff later on where you're like going through doors and making the doors bigger and smaller. This is a dream. Um, and some of that stuff I, I think is interesting, you but this is doesn't a dream. always work so you well not wake up. wise Please complete the remaining orientation a activities. tiny one this time. So small. I wonder how the programming mm. was for this. Uh, I do think it's an interesting game. I think it has interesting ideas. I just think that by the end, uh, I was talking about to this. Uh, I was talking to Alex about this a little bit earlier. I feel like by the end, I was frustrated because it felt like they really threw away a lot of the sort of interesting puzzle components they just mm. built, uh, just for the sake of like what I think is sort of. Not a great story. Okay. Uh, I think that it comes to a conclusion that was trying to be a little too profound. Um, 
And I think that it just, I almost was like, is this satire? It mm -hmm. seems like it's really heavy handed, but I think it was sincere. Which, you know, whatever. Yeah. Are you escaping the facility? Is that what Upsies. this is? Upsies. Upsies. Well, now you've gone and done it. And by um, that, I mean, solve the puzzle. But, you know, similar to Portal, similar to the Stanley Parable, it has a very similar vibe, I think, of like, oh, you're sort of trapped in the state. Um, there's a voice overhead. It's all like, hey, this is institutionalized. All it's all good. But it's also all a little wacky. But it's all a little wacky. Maybe state. you're trying to if get you around believe your it. mental state so was so compromised forth. by Somnascult, please provide a comprehensive, rational um, explanation in your post oh, survey. God. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. It's so big. Um, unreliable narrator. That's what we... Yes. Uh, Classic. Yeah. You get it. You went to art school. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's 101 stuff. Yeah, smash yourself. Ah. Oh, God. Abby, you're oh boy. giving me palpitations. It's terrifying. I've, I have had dreams like this. Really? Oh, yeah. Big object dreams? Oh, yeah. Um, I wish I could remember my dreams. I feel like my dreams are always about people, and it's always terrible in that way of like, oh, God, I don't want to have to think about you that way or something, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, why are you mean? <laughs> Brain, stop perceiving people this way. Yes, exactly. Okay. That's what you're we looking for. We got it. Boom. Nailed it. Is it on the button? Uh, yeah. It is. Yeah, close enough. On enough of it. Boop. Okay, okay, yeah. Just barely, but it is. It's a very control looking room. Mm. Yeah, yes. I was saying. You have wall to stare at that apple. Good wallpaper. Um... It just has some sort of trippy hallway stuff. Just having a little fun. Having a little fun. I think this is neat. Yeah. I, I could see mm -hmm. where one might be like, okay, we, I get it. Yeah. I and I think, like honestly, I think the chapter after this is a much more interesting chapter. And I think it does do some sort of fun, clever stuff. There's one section that's like kind of spooky, mm. um, which I actually really enjoyed. Spooky. Oh, I think I remember how to do this one. Ready? This one I think is a fun fun solution. Ready? Here we go. Big boy. Ah. Oh, big boy did it. Um, and I do think it does some clever stuff with the puzzles. I think, though, it feels a little like trodden ground, and it feels just the end of it really did sour a lot of the rest of the game mm. for me. Uh, because it did Please take too long. For it felt like it sort of dropped a lot of the, the stuff I learned in the puzzles for the sake you of, like, it. The, to maximize the time so allotted for your so therapeutic bit. journey, mm -hmm. please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. It's probably where we'll end it. Okay. But you can see peek uh -oh. the holes. We'll Which, uh, get through this. Uh, but speaking of ground that has been well covered, the institution, mm -hmm. uh, the institution where in which you push through the wall, is, oh, yeah. is, is something we video games has. Oh yeah, they love it. Has covered. Like this it. one, I also... Uh, Have you done it with a block of cheese before, though? Uh, not in the game, only in real life. Just cheese right in, my, right in my gob. Just put the cheese in my mouth. What's your favorite cheese, Vinny? Uh, Any one that is available. Wow, really? Uh, what? Who hates Do you like a stinky cheese? I like them sure. um, creamy and milky. I don't want them sure. too stinky. I like a cheddar, too. I'll, I'll, I'll go with whatever cheese you got. As you, if you tell me it's edible, I'll probably try and eat it. If you told me that that cheese had gone bad, then I'll probably be, I'd believe you either way. You could take the same cheese and be like, Vinny, that cheese, that's bad cheese. That's the stinky, that's the stinky and cheese I'd be like, in well, a bad way. In a good way or oh, in a wow. bad way? Vinny, that cheese is a war criminal. And be like, well, it's canceled. Can I eat this cheese? Is that my doing the world a favor then by digesting this cheese? No, because then you become the war criminal. You are what, what you eat. What kind of cheese is this? That, I would say, Edam, some kind of Swiss-like cheese. Cool. Well, anyway, this is super liminal. Uh, I'm not going to play too much. Like I said, it's not the longest game in the world. I enjoyed some of the puzzle aspects. I did not enjoy the story. The um, the, it was not a complete experience for you. Exactly. Yeah, I didn't... It's similar to something like the Stanley Parable. Again, does this game a disservice to compare it to it, but you can see why I do. Like, that game, I think I left being like, wow, cool. And this game, I left being like, okay, I enjoyed some of the puzzles and others. I was ready for 10. Fair C enough. Could be a cheddar. Could is, be a is cheddar. It yellow? Oh, this. Uh, it's like a, a, like a, a whitish cream, like it's, a white. It's a very light yellow. Yeah, could be. 
Maybe it's a, what, which may, one, what is the red waxiness? I feel like this is like a Swiss. It could, I mean, baby bells have the, the wax on them. I know. I like those baby bells. Yeah, baby bells. Maybe that's just a giant quarter old, of a baby bell. Big old uh, mozzarella. Just say that cheese Some seems mozz. very hard. Is, I do not think that's... Your mozzarella has gone bad if that is your <laughs> mozzarella. Mm -hmm. well, thanks, Abby. Yeah, thank you.